So in today's lesson, we'll be looking at blood alcohol content. Now, just a couple of definitions firstly. The blood alcohol content, or BAC, is the measure of the amount of alcohol in a person's blood. Now, a person with a BAC of 0 0.05 has 0 0.05 grams, or 50 milligrams, of alcohol per 100 milliliters of blood. And an estimate of the BAC can be found using formulae. And there's two different formulas here. The BAC for a male is equal to 10N minus 7.5H over 6.8M. And the BAC for a female is equal to 10N minus 7.5H over 5.5M. Now that's where the N stands for the number of standard drinks consumed. The H is the number of hours drinking. And the M is equal to the person's mass in kilograms. So we'll just move those formulas up here and we'll have a look at some examples of this. So number one, we're told that Mr. and Mrs. Russell were at a party for four hours. Mrs. Russell weighs 61 kilograms and had six standard drinks. Now for part A, we're asked to calculate her blood alcohol concentration correct to three decimal places. So let's see, we're obviously going to use one of our BAC formulae. Remember, we're working it out for Mrs. Russell though. So we'll use the BAC for a female formula here. Now let's start to sub in 10N. Just remember our N is the number of standard drinks consumed. So Mrs. Russell had six standard drinks. So we'll have 10 times six there. Then we'll minus from that our 7.5H. Now H is the number of hours drinking. So they're at the party for four hours. So that'll be 7.5 times four. Now that's all over the top of this 5.5M here. Just remember M is the person's mass and Mrs. Russell weighs 61 kilograms. So working this out now, if you're working with your fraction button, you can put it in exactly as it appears on the screen on a lot of calculators. 10 times 6 minus 7.5 times 4 on the top of your fraction. And that's over 5.5 times 61. Now we get an answer of 0 0.0894, etc. for that one. But we need to round this off correct to three decimal places. So there's our three decimal places there. Straight after that we've got this 4. What will happen when we get a 4 after our answer? Well, it's not going to change our value at all, is it? So therefore our BAC is equal to 0 0.089. We're told, given a reduction rate of 0.015 per hour, how long will it take Mrs. Russell's BAC to return to zero? So to work out the amount of time here, we're going to get her blood alcohol concentration and put it over this reduction rate of 0.015. Now, of course, that's a rate per hour. Our unit will be in hours as well. So our BAC then, we just work that out, 0.089. And that's over 0.015. So let's do that division. 0 0.089 over 0 0.015. And we get 5.96 hours. Now, while that answer is correct, we don't usually write time like that, do we? So on your calculator, there's a couple of buttons you can use to help you out here. And some calculators will look like this. And other calculators, it might have a DMS. It's our degrees, minutes, and second button, but it can also work for hours, minutes, and seconds. So if we press that button, we end up with 5 hours and 58 minutes for her blood alcohol level to return to zero. Let's have a look at another example now. Number two, we're told after Kylie stops drinking, the BAC drops according to the equation B equals 0.08 minus 0.015H, where B is the BAC, and H the number of hours after her last drink. Now there's two parts here, and in part A we're asked, what was Kylie's BAC immediately after her last drink? So we'll just write that formula out to begin with, and because we're looking for a BAC immediately after her last drink, well, what value does that mean that we know? Well, the number of hours after a last drink will be zero, won't it? So we're looking where H is equal to zero. So let's do some, let's do some solving here. We'll bring the 0 0.08 down. And here, minus 0 0.015H. 
Well, if we know that h is equal to 0, it's just going to be minus 0 0.015 times 0. So working that out, 0 0.08 minus that next bit, which will just be equal to 0, and we get a final answer of 0 0.08. So Kylie's BAC was 0 0.08 immediately after her last drink. Now let's have a look at part B. We're asked how long must she wait for a BAC to reach 0 0.05. So let's get our formula and write that one down again. Now this time the B here, we know that's the BAC, but we want it to get down to 0 0.05, don't we, or 0 0.05. So that'll be equal to 0 0.08 minus 0 0.015H. And we're trying to work out this value of H here, so we've got to get that by itself. So we'll get rid of this 0.08 here firstly. We'll take away that to do that. Just remember, take it away from both sides of your equation though. So on this side here, the 0 0.08 minus 0 0.08, well that'll leave us with, with nothing there, won't it? So we'll just be left with our negative 0.015H. Don't leave that minus sign out though. And that'll be equal to 0.05 minus 0.08, which is minus 0.03. Now we've got to get rid of the negative 0.015. So let's divide by that and divide both sides by the same thing. So on the left, they'll cancel each other out, leaving us just with our h. And on the right, negative 0.03 divided by negative 0.015 gives us a nice simple answer of 2. So using that answer, we can say Kylie needs to wait 2 hours for her BAC to reach 0.05. Well, that's ended our lesson on blood alcohol concentration. Hope you enjoyed that, and best of luck working your way through the questions now.